Hello, everybody, and welcome to the start of another vlog. Um, this one is actually going to be a Labor Day weekend vlog. It is currently Friday at 4 p.m. on Labor Day. So I have the rest of the weekend through Tuesday morning, or Monday night, I guess, really, off of work and all of the things. <laughs> so, and I'm not going anywhere. I plan on just staying at home and reading all weekend. I might go to Target because I do have a few things I need to get, but like that's possible. Um, but I'm just gonna hang out. And last year for Labor Day, I read like three hyped books of the summer, uh, like books that I a book like a book talk book, a book I'd heard about a ton on YouTube, and a book I saw all over Instagram. And this year, I feel like I've done a really good job at keeping up with new releases, especially like really popular ones. I mean, there's a couple that I need to read, um, but I couldn't like think of three that I like that I'd seen everywhere that I hadn't really read. There's really only like one. So I decided um, I've actually been given multiple arcs these past couple weeks. Uh, so I decided this weekend would be an arc vlog. Um, the first, so I have. I have four arcs technically that I really want to get to this weekend. Um, two were given to me by the author. One was by the publisher via NetGalley and one was um, via a arc company, Forever and Always PR by, um, that's Tori from Novel Life and Jess from Peaceful Books. Their, art, uh, their PR company that they have. Um, I got an ALC of Love Me Tomorrow my, by Maria Luis from them and um, this is a book that's already previously been out it's just now releasing an audio so I got the audio arc of that um and then I have uh from NetGalley I got Fly With Me by Andy Burke who is Andy Reads and Writes on Instagram um I'm really excited to read her book I got this one a while ago I just haven't read it yet because the release it doesn't come out I think it comes out it's either Tuesday the 5th or the following Tuesday I don't remember the exact day I have to look it up and then from the author, I got the second book in the Timeborn series, uh, Darkness, Darkness of Time, I think is what it's called. So I'm going to, I'm not going to really go into detail about that one because obviously it's the second book in a series, but I will, you know, I will read it this weekend and talk about it a little bit, but I probably won't do like multiple check-ins or anything like that for it. Uh, and then the last one I got is A Home Run Proposal by Marin Moore, which is a baseball romance that I'm really excited. So Yeah. Those are the four arcs that I'm looking to get to this weekend. Hopefully I can get to them all. I have no other plans but to read and build a bookshelf. So yeah, but first, before I, you know, get to the reading, I got some fun mail to open. The first thing I got is from Chandler Ainsley's little shop that she has. It says, I'd rather be reading romance. Um, I got like super oversized because I just want comfort. Um comfort soft fun so yeah I'd rather be reading romance so cute and then also from Amazon I got a couple things of course I'm addicted um because I need it I well just I I do need it um I need the indie ish, ish indie editions of all of the Brutal Birthright series I'm only now missing one so I have to get Body Heart um now I just need to get Broken Bow before they go out of print because it was picked up by Bloom. And then I got, for my Etsy shop, I got some ornament, resin ornament makers. And we're really excited for these. Um, I have some Halloween coasters that I've been making. And so I'm really excited. Sorry for the crinkle. But every year at work, we do like an ornament exchange. So I will be making one this year. So there's like one that says, meet me under the mistletoe, deck the halls, uh, believe in the magic of Christmas, have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's a wonderful, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Two little snowflakes um, you could like adorn to it or you could just make separately and then like a plain one. And then this one also has a plain one, two snowflakes, the same. Um, Tis the season to be jolly, joy to the world, merry and bright, home sweet home and Merry Christmas y'all which that's just, just so cute so I'm really excited and then I got um final glossy sticker paper from Zakoto because I've heard nothing but good things about this brand and I got some fun stickers coming to the shop they should 
already be up on my Etsy shop. Link down below. Um, but I'm going to try this stick paper out and see how I feel about it. Because I've heard really, really good things from, like, groups that I'm in and stuff. So, yeah. That is all I have. I'm going to go get to the reading, get some reading, reading in. Um, it is the start of a battle a So, yes, um, definitely need to bond with my dragon. Uh, and I'm going to go. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello. Good morning. I am about 100-ish, maybe a little less, pages into... Um, Fly With Me by Andy Burke and it's cute so far uh, so basically Olive is going on her first flight ever and she's never flown and she's having like a panic attack freaking out about it um, and all of a sudden they say hey is anyone on here a medical professional uh, and she is an ER nurse so she goes to help this man out because he uh, had what was it? He had an allergic reaction to something. So she goes and helps him and like saves him on the plane. And afterwards, she then meets one of the pilots, Stella. And she really needs to get to Orlando to go to... Uh, Olive really needs to get to Orlando to go run this race at Disney. And so Stella offers to drive her. So they drive to Orlando together. And Olive thinks she's never going to see Stella again. Well, Stella ends up being at the finish line of the race. So then they hang out, spend the day together. They take a nap together. Uh, and this is all, like, told through Olive's head. So we don't see any of, like, Stella. Like, her, it's not um, any of her thoughts. It's all in Olive's head. So we're only getting Olive's point of view. I, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh it's early um but yeah I'm enjoying it it's I feel like things are happening a little it's a little insta lusty insta lovey we'll see um I'm having a good time with it though but I'm gonna go and I want to keep reading so yeah uh I'm gonna go and I'll talk to y'all in the next one hello hello I am 50% of the way through Fly With Me by Andy Burke, and it's fake dating. I did not know that. Uh, so Stella and Olive, after their little um, trip to Disney for the race, um, they like go back to normal, um, normal lives. And one day out of the blue, um, Stella shows up at Olive's work and like they go to get coffee and Stella's like I want you to be my fake girlfriend <laughs> so yeah um basically Stella being a pilot it's a very uh male dominated field and she keeps getting like passed up for promotions and things because of you know misogyny that's the way life is right <laughs> um and so she thinks like having a like partner will help that help with the misogyny like you know so show she's like serious and everything so she asks Stella to be her fake girlfriend to like go to events with her and things um or all she Stella asks Olive to be her fake girlfriend and go to events and things with her um you also learned we also learned like why Olive is um estranged from her family like what happened with that and it's really really sad <laughs> like just made me really sad um and yeah I don't really know what else to say I'm enjoying it it's good uh do I think it's like gonna be a new fave probably not but it is good it has a lot a ton of representation um both queer and um Stella has mental health issues. She gets really bad panic attacks and has depression and everything. Uh, and, or no, Olive, I keep getting them confused. <laughs> Olive has mental health issues and Stella has celiac disease. Um, and there's a ton of queer characters and it's just it's a, a delightful time. So yeah, I mean, it's not like, there's no like angst or anything like that. So it's just, it's very like, even with, you know, 
the depression and things like that. It's just a very lighthearted romance, which is great. Um, it's always good to have a lighthearted romance every once in a while, especially when some are like angsty and all of that drama filled. So yeah, I'm going to go because I want to do some more resining for the weekend and yeah um i don't know what else i was gonna say this probably needs to sit in the mold some more but whatever it's fine <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna go oh, i really like this it's super cute a little too much going on right here but that's okay all the stuff like flew to the bottom that's okay but yeah i'm gonna go and keep reading because i'm having a great time with the books that I am reading, uh, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello, hello. I am 75% of the way through Fly With Me by Andy Burke, and it's cute. Um, it's so burn, uh, but it's good. Um, I, I wish that we had, like, Stella's, what was going on in Stella's head, because I just feel like it's a very one-sided relationship right now. Um, so it's told in third person. But a lot of times in like third person you can get... Um, like you get like when you... Like a historical romance where it kind of has like both the hero and the heroine's perspectives like in their brains. But this is not like that. It's only like from Stella... Or from Olive's, one for Olivia, from Olive's brain. And it's just, I wish we were in Stella's because I feel like we know how into Stella Olive is and has always been, but we don't know how into Olive Stella is. Like, it just doesn't seem like she is. I think it's very physical for her and not emotional. And I don't know, it's just very interesting. So, um,. That's like my biggest complaint is I just wish that we had more from the other side. Um, but yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it. Minus that. Um, I definitely believe their relationship. And we finally kind of learned. Like she finally opened up to Stella about what happened with her family fully. Um, we really hate the ex-girlfriend Lindsay. She's awful. And has made Stella, or has made Olive feel horrible about everything. And she kind of doesn't believe that their relationship is real. So, I'm interested to see how that goes in this last 25%. But yeah, I should get it done soon. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick little update. I'm gonna go. Keep watching football, keep reading. Uh, we'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello. I have just finished... Fly With Me by Andy Burke. In pain. I was not expecting there to be so much pain at the end of this book. Um, yeah. Just everything that happened at the end. I was crying. I almost like... I had to read it on my phone because something happened with my night galley and I can't get the book on my Kindle. So I had to read it on my phone. Which is where I phone. So... I couldn't like film reactions a lot, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I was depressed, like in pain reading it, but it was really good. I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I just really wish that we would have had some of Stella's perspective on it all, on what was happening. Um, and yeah, I also kind of wish there was more of a resolution with um, all of the parents after everything that happened like were they just done are they just that's it never gonna speak to her again I don't know so yeah Lindsay sucks I will say that Derek was a gem I absolutely adored him and his friendship with Olive was just, like, the sweetest thing ever. But, yeah. That is all I have for now. Now I need to start another arc. 
and I will talk to you all in the next one. Good afternoon, evening, I don't know. Uh, I just went to Starbucks and I got a couple fall things. I got the pumpkin cream chai. Um, let's see, I haven't tasted this yet. I love pumpkin cream cold beer, but I hate pumpkin spice lattes. So, I don't know how I feel about that. It's okay. And then I also got the apple croissant because I've been wanting to try this. Um, I don't love apple pie, so we'll see how I feel about this. Okay, right. it's pretty dang good. But I am about 50% of the way through Darkness of Time by Sarah Samuels. And I don't know if it's because I listened to the audiobook the first time. I had a great time with it. I know it's such a time born. But I'm finding a lot of, like, issues with the writing. Like, it's very, I feel like it's very juvenile. And I don't know. I don't know if just, like, the voice acting, like, really helped that. But I don't know. I'm still having a good time. Like, there's a lot of crazy, but there's, like, I don't know. I don't feel like the romance is as heavy in this one as it was in the first one. So, we'll see. I don't want to give too much away. Because, obviously, it is the second book in the series. Um, a direct continuation, so. But, I mean, I'm having a good time with it. Um, but, yeah. That is all I have for now. I'm going to go. Because it is hot in my car. And, because even though I got fall stuff, it's not fall. Um, and I'm okay with that, because I don't really like fall. I know unpopular opinion here on BookTube. <laughs> but, I'm not a big fall person. I am much more of a summer girl. Um, but, I do hate sitting in a hot car with no air conditioning on. So, I'm going to go. And go home and get back into the air conditioning and then yeah i will talk to you all in the next one hello hello <laughs> um i just went to starbucks again and i got a the apple um shaken espresso i don't know how i feel about it i don't think i like it and i usually like apple but that's okay we're good. Um, I did finish Darkness of Time. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. It I felt like there was character growth for one character that we really hated in book one. But then one that, like, the main character, I felt like she backslid a lot um, in book two. So, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I enjoyed it, and I'm excited for book three. Um, it definitely left on the cliffhanger. My hair is a freaking wild disaster right now. And I'm also at a really terrible angle, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I gave it four stars. I had a good time. Uh, I think I preferred the audiobook the first time reading it. So we'll see. I might have to, when the audio comes out, I might have to reread it with the audio and see if I like, like it more with that. But yeah, I'm going to go because I got to run to Target and then I got to keep reading and I'll talk to you on the next one. Hello, hello. I am 25% of the way in Love Me Tomorrow by Maria Louise. Uh, this book's been out for a while, uh, but the ARC, the audiobook is uh, just released recently. So, and I got the ARC from um, Forever and Always PR. And I'm enjoying it. It's cute, kind of. I don't know. I'm intrigued as to how this is going to turn around. So, it's an a sibling's ex but like it kind of is like I don't think the sister would even be upset if um Savannah and Owen got together it doesn't sound like they ever really had much more of a relationship other than just like a friendship that like they tried to like make more but it really didn't pan out that way so I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work out but we'll see it starts the prologue is Savannah going on this dating show and thinking about this guy and he walks out of one of the um limos on the dating show and she t sends him home like before he's like the first guy she sends home because she knows she can't be with him and so now it's like a couple months later and 
he just found out that she bought the building next door to his. He owns a tattoo parlor. Or her family bought the building next door to his. And they're buying up all the buildings. And they want to buy his as well. But he's not as easily swayed as the other members of the uh, neighborhood were. So, yeah. It's good so far. I mean, it's not going to be like a new favorite. But Jason Clark is just amazing in my ears. Um, and I can't think of what the female narrator's name is. Uh, but she's good too. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. So I'm going to keep going. I have, I bought a new bookshelf last week and it came in. And then I also have these like floating shelves that I need to hang. And I'm like trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the bookshelves. How I'm going to do it. Because, uh... That is a disaster, and it gives me anxiety just looking at it. Like, I'm afraid. Like, it's just going to fall over one of these days because there's so many books on it. So, I am currently knee-deep in books, which is not a bad thing. But, yeah, I'm going to go and listen to that while fixing, figuring out what I'm going to do with my bookshelves, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hold up. Hold. You're at a different angle in my kitchen today. <laughs> I am my all my resin stuff is on my counter or on my over there, so I can't really sit you up while I'm trying to get some breakfast in me. I am 50% of the way through Love Me Tomorrow by Maria Louise, and I'm having a good time with it. Um, it's siblings ex and like i said in the last clip like they never really had anything like the sister uh so like they had like uh, savannah and owen kind of have like a little hookup and savannah wanted to call her sister amelie and like let her know and amelie kind of already knew like she was like uh why do you think he went on that show like it was all i knew that you guys were like meant to be so yeah they just hooked up the part of that and we'll see how it goes from there interesting i'm having a good time with it though so i'm gonna go so i can read and do something about my hair because i don't know what's going on with it today but i guess this happens when you shower and then go run errands <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go and need some breakfast and i'll talk to you all in the next one hello hello i am 75 percent of the way through i love me tomorrow and it's good but <sighs> I don't know it's just very interesting there's so the hero is a tattoo artist but it come turns out that he's colorblind and it's become this whole big thing that he's colorblind and like he's hid this from everyone and it's like a big secret and again i mean he's a tattoo artist but he's obviously done a great job up till now working with what he has being colorblind and it hasn't been an issue so i'm confused as to why it's an issue now it's just interesting i mean he messed up me i'm not i'm not gonna say what happened but he kind of messed up until yeah i don't know it's weird but i'm having a good time with it uh it's probably gonna be like a three and a half four star um, i don't see it getting more than that it's not like there's no angst it's not an angsty story it's not uh it's not really emotional i don't think i mean it could end up being in the last 25 percent, but i don't think it will be but i'm having a good time with it and that's really all that matters so yeah uh sorry if you can hear my cricket in the background i'm working on some stuff for my etsy shop um i got some fun things coming and yeah i'm gonna go because i want to keep reading and i'll talk to you out in the next one hello i finished love me tomorrow by maria louise and it was cute um i'm getting a three and a half rounding up to four on goodreads uh, i enjoyed it but it was just very like easy it felt like um I don't know it just I felt like some of the complications were really like unnecessary and yeah I don't know so three and a half stars rounded up to four it was decent uh Jason Clark is amazing so I mean that's enough to make me listen to it but yeah um I'm gonna go talk to y'all in the next one.
good afternoon. Sorry, it's loud. I am at my pool. But I am 25% of the way through Home Run Puzzle by Marin Moore. And it's super cute so far. So it's best friends with a brother. Chef's guests love it. Um, and it's like the teaching trope. So Hallie is kind of quirky. First time in college, never been kissed, never done anything. And she's living with her best friend, Eli, who's also been her, like, grown-up neighbor, and his brother, Lane, off campus. Well, one day, she makes a proposal for Eli to, after a almost kiss gone really wrong with someone else, she makes a proposal to Eli to take her virginity, like, kiss her and just get it out of the way. Well, little did she know, it wasn't Eli, it was Lane that she accidentally proposed this to, and so now... That's all Lane has thought about, and he decided to tell her that they would be a teacher, and that's where we stopped. So, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's super cute. It's super fast to read, but I'm having a great time. I'm going to go so I can get back in the pool and read tomorrow, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello. I am 58% of the way through Home Run Proposal, and I am loving it so much. It's so cute. Um, they are fully in the, like, teach me section, and it's totally mutual pining, and it's just adorable. Like, they're both, like, already in love with each other, and kind of always have been. And it's just super cute. Um, and he's, like, doing all these things for her, and there was a pretty good phone scene. I love a good phone sex scene. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> So, there was a pretty good one. And, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. He's, like, doing all these really cute things for her. I'm interested to see, like, what's gonna happen with his family. Because, so his brother knows. Like, there's, which is great. Like, there's not gonna be any of that awkward, like, the best friend or the sibling finding out. Like, sorry. Uh, there's not gonna be any of that weirdness that causes all the drama in the third act because because they both were upfront with Eli from the beginning about the this little relationship they had going on. Um, but I'm interested to see what happens because his family or his dad really wants him to play professional baseball and he doesn't know that he wants to, and so I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, and I am excited to continue. But I'm gonna go. So I can keep reading because I'm having a great time. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Hello. I am 50, 75, 75% of the way through Home Run Proposal by Marin Moore. I am loving it. Um, it's a slow burn in the fact that they don't hook up with each other until 75% of the way through the book. Uh, like actual penetration hook up they do other stuff obviously because it's a whole teach me thing um but i'm really enjoying it like it might be my favorite one, arc i've read so far having a great time with it um super excited to finish it to get it done with um it's been a weird day i do go run some errands this morning and then which you would have seen some of that <laughs> um and then i had to go all right and then as i was like home I was out when I got home and, like, was ready to, like, sit down and read and stuff. Um, my dad called me and was like, oh, my dad's played fantasy football in this one, for this one league, since I was a baby. And, like, my brothers got into it when I was young. And I used to go all the time and, like, go to the draft. Because it always used to be in person. I used to go to the draft, like, every year with my dad and my brothers. And would hang out. And I've always wanted to be part of this league. And, like, since... I want to say the past like five years there's been like other people that they've let into the league but they just don't they keep like not letting me in and I, my dad was like oh someone like backed out last minute like do you want to join and I was like uh, yeah I've been waiting forever so I have a draft tonight at seven so I got a couple hours to try to finish the this book, um, which I should be able to get it done. It's only like four o'clock. It's four thirty, so I got like three and a half hours. And the I it says I only got like less than an hour left before I finish, according to my Kindle. So 
I'm gonna go and read and get that done and I will talk to you all in the next one hello hello I sorry I'm at a horrible angle <laughs> I got a new bookshelf and I'm trying to like organize it you were precariously sat on that bookshelf but um I have finished Home Run Proposal by Maren Moore and this is gonna be the end of the vlog also so you know all that fun stuff um but I really enjoyed it um I gave it four and a half rounded up to five stars it was very cute and fun um like ugh. the third act breakup conflict whatever made sense it was very like realistic and made sense in the story and it was and it was sad but it all worked out in the end um of course I mean it's a romance so yeah it was just really cute and fun this was that was definitely my favorite of the four arcs that I read this weekend um so I mean I enjoyed them all but of all of them like but of them I would definitely say pick this one up comes out on Friday which I believe is the day after this vlog will be live pretty sure so yeah um I'm really not doing what I'm supposed to be doing on my on this right now I'm just throwing books in there um but yeah I posted a poll on my Instagram of whether I should put my unread historicals or my unread contemporaries and at the time of filming this which it's almost I mean oh shit <gasps> um which I mean the poll will no longer be live shortly um contemporaries is winning so we'll see <laughs> And by contemporaries, it also means like fantasy, things like that. Just not like my mass market paperback historicals was really what I meant. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go. If you made it to the end of this vlog, leave me a... Um, the like mind blown guy. I don't know why. I just feel like doing the mind blown guy. Because, you know arcs are mind-blowing and I had a mind-blowing fantasy draft today <laughs> but yeah um that is all I have for now don't forget to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff it really helps me out and I'll talk to you all in the next one bye mm -hmm.